Welcome everyone. Today I'll be outlining the most promising research on cannabinoids and which pharmaceutical stocks are leading the pack in this revolution. Before we get into this, let me explain why I'm making this video. There's a very negative sentiment around this medicinal industry since the bubble burst in 2022. But as Peter Lynch says, you have to go against the crowd to make money. I believe I have a scientific edge here that we can exploit to think ahead of what your average old Wall Street investor that doesn't know anything about science would be thinking. Now, none of this is investment advice. It's just my scientific reasoning for investing in the companies that I chose. Some background about me. Last year, I published a paper on the unexplored effects of the hundreds of newly discovered cannabinoid messages in the body. There's so much untapped potential still to come here with a lot of these compounds still remaining untested. Read the paper if you want, but it's very complicated at the moment to isolate what each one of these compounds does because they all affect each other. But it's very likely they'll be treating a multitude of diseases in the future. For today, we'll be focusing on the cannabinoid with the most promising results, and that is CBD. You heard that right. THC was the focus of the hype a few years ago, but CBD actually has better clinical results and it doesn't have any of the psychoactive effects. Let's look at three examples. The first one obviously is cancer, but you may not know that both CBD or THC are both only used to treat pain. However, in the past two years, researchers have been pumping out studies about how CBD could be the future of cancer treatment. If not as an individual treatment, then definitely at least as an adjunct treatment to make existing cancer drugs stronger. An Australian stock that I'm invested in with regards to this research is Emiria. They're using an ultra pure extract of CBD, which allows them to patent it. I also like them because they partnered with my old research supervisor at my old uni. Last month, they secured MDMA for clinical trials, as well as having 150 compounds that are similar to MDMA that they're testing for better activity. Let's keep this video on track with cannabinoids, but you can hit me up in the comments with more on this. Another interesting line of research that I came across recently is the treatment of the symptoms of fragile X disorder and autism with CBD. This is being done by another company that I'm invested in called Zynerba. They've developed what they call an enhancer combination with CBD and they're testing this in phase two clinical trials. This combination actually allows CBD to pass through the skin for treatment. And obviously they have a unique patent on this technology. Thirdly, and most interesting of all, we have the treatment of obesity and diabetes. Now I've talked a lot about the treatment of these diseases in my previous videos, where I've explained that people are willing to pay up to $1,500 for obesity injections. And I think the market demand for CBD products will be quite beneficial for people that are invested in it. To finish off, I have one more recommendation. This is a bit of a high risk, high return situation. Trulieve is down 90% since the bubble burst, but it's still one of the top suppliers in 11 US states. Stock analysts right now seem to be extremely bullish on its potential, but you have to be careful. They've had negative profits since COVID. Let me know in the comments if there's anything you find interesting. I can post more content about it. I also have a free weekly newsletter where I update you on everything that I find interesting, the new stocks that I buy, cool science research, health research, etc. So please follow that. It's the best way I can get detailed information to you the fastest. And please hit me up with a subscribe. I have terrible view counts, but I'll keep on making videos if it's useful to anyone. 